Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. So today we're gonna do a homeschool video. I wanted to show you how like a, just a typical like set of lessons looks like for both of my kids. So we're gonna be doing like lessons real time. If you're not into homeschooling, this video is gonna be very boring, but if you wanna know like real life, what do the lessons look like? What does it look like to do homeschool with a preschooler, with a kindergartner? Then hopefully this video you find helpful. This is Riley. You wanna say hi? Hello. Um, are you gonna go first or is Jackson gonna go first I'm today? I'm gonna go first. Oh, you are, you changed your mind, yes, huh? Because I love to do two. Oh, okay. Well, you guys can both come do schoolwork. So this is like what real life looks like, right? I've got three kids, if you're new here. I've got Sean, who is six months old. He is asleep right now, which is why we are starting lessons right now. We might get through them, we might not, but we're gonna at least take advantage of the fact that he's sleeping Could to start. Are you bringing your food up to the table, Jackson? This is Jackson, you wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. So Jackson is in pre-K three, and Riley is doing kindergarten work. So let's see what we can do. Jackson just turned four, his birthday's in December, and Riley just turned six, her birthday was also in December. So sometimes when I start school with Riley, Jackson will be playing, he'll be watching TV, or vice versa, Riley will be watching like a documentary and I'm focusing on Jackson. Today apparently they both wanna be here on the table, so I just kinda have to like pivot and find a way to make that happen. Nine, ten, Good job. How about I go into my cabinets? This is my super unorganized homeschool cabinet. I'll like, help you organize it. oh, you will? Um, yes, one of these days we'll get to it. This cabinet is pretty new, is which is why it's a mess. Jackson, do you want to do these blocks or do you want to do the pattern ones? Yep. Okay, we're going to do schoolwork too, but in the meantime, while we wait, do you want to work on these or patterns? Okay, you just want to do schoolwork? Okay, hold on. Let me see what I can get you. Okay, so four times like this, when Jackson's like, hey, I immediately want schoolwork. If I need something to keep him distracted, a lot of times I'll print out things. Like, this was a color by numbers that he did yesterday. It's Valentine's Day time. It's February. So I print out, like, a lot of, like, seasonal things. Some of them I find for free, like, on Pinterest. This is actually, like, a little um, set that my sister, who owns, like, a little Etsy shop, she had put together for Valentine's Day, which I actually love. Wait. So I'll link this one down below if you guys want to check something like this out it's really good for like that preschool age group um, it's got tracing letter sounds counting it's got like all the things that Jackson is working on so let's see if maybe this is something that I can have him do do you want to do the love bug or do you want to do the ice cream one to color Ice cream. Ice cream? So obviously in order to get him to be able to do this independently, like he's actually very good. I don't know if this is like focusing or if the lighting is off here. Um, he's actually really good by in like color by letters and color by numbers, but I have to obviously tell him which letters like to color what color because he cannot read. So I'm just gonna do this for him where I just tell him like all these colors that he's gotta grab and then he can search for the letters. So whenever there's a color by number, I'll just do that for him, whether it's like numbers or letters. And then this is something that he can work on. Let's move your food over here. Here are your crayons. So you can work on that, okay? You have to find all the K's, okay? And what color do we color the K's? Red. You're gonna color them red? Okay, so look for all the K's, big K and little K, okay? And then you go to the next one. That's kind of why it's helpful to have like little activity packets and stuff printed and ready to go for distraction purposes. We'll work on some of these later with him, but I need to focus on Riley. So right now with Riley, we are working on a couple different things. And each of these videos that I make you guys is gonna be different depending on what's going on that day. I do have other videos where I've gone more in depth on like overall curriculum, what we're using. Mom. But as the year goes on, like things change. So for example, we are working on today math we are doing geography and we are doing a little reader book and then we're working on handwriting. When we started this year, she was using the Good and the Beautiful um, Kindergarten Math. She finished that book, so now we are using this Horizons book as basically like a review. So she's kind of doing like two kindergarten math curriculum. So this is kind of her second math um, you know, book that she's been doing. And then we also have been doing the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts, but she's almost done with that curriculum too. So we're not doing like formal lessons from that book right this week, like we're taking kind of like a break, but we still find it very important to read because Riley is reading and you guys will see in a minute. Um, this is like a little nature book that she's reading. Can we do, um, geography and then math and then we'll do the book? 
Okay, sure. She likes to tell me which order she likes to do things oh, in, which is fine. Wow, you did three hearts. Very good. There's one more. Yeah, but that one is not K. So now he has to look for the next letter, which is... L. L. You have to find big L and little L. So geography is something else that we're working on just because we've done so well with math and language arts. Those are always my focus, math and language arts and like reading obviously. So since we have extra time now, um, we've been working on this little kindergarten geography book. And then this, like I said, is handwriting and that's just something else that we're working on because Riley needs a little bit more help with handwriting. So we're doing it kind of like in a fun way. So how about we just get started? Um, we don't have really a lot of time to waste. This was another printout page <laughs> that I had on the table for Riley to color in case like I'm working with Jackson on something. So I she... colored the scarf, this and this. There. Piece. It looks really beautiful. Yes. Oh, Good job. That. You did it? Good job, well, buddy. With Jackson, can I do that? Yes, you can. Okay, so we are going to start, let's start with geography, right? You yes. Said? Yes. Okay. So we I started. Love doing geography. It's my favorite. Do you want to sing the continent song? Sure. Oh, mom. Continents. I forgot that one. Oh, you can go back and color that one. Continents, continents. Do you know your continents? North, south, east, and west, all around the world. There you go. Asia, Africa. North and South America, Australia, Antarctica, and Europe too. Good job. So we've been going over continents. We're also kind of doing like a review, right? So like before I jump into the book, reviewing some of the concepts that we've done recently. So we've also been working on like what's the biggest thing on the map? What continent do we live in? North America. Then we have... Cities. No. Uh, countries. Countries. What country do we live in? in? The United States of America. Then we have cities. Nope. Before we get to cities, we have states. We live in Florida. And then we have. And then we have cities. And what cities do we live in? Miami. Very good. So going over like the order uh, of those things. Are you done with the L's? I think I see a couple more. Good job. Okay, so let's open up our workbook. And we won't do too much of um, geography, but we've been going over north, south, east, and west. There go. Again, continents, reading maps. Oh, I want to do this oh, yeah, the Okay. You are done with all of it, Gordo, yes. So how about you find, what letter is this one? M. M. So you gotta find all the M's. Okay, so this says, the direction east is usually found on the right side of a map. So when you're going east, you are moving sideways across Earth from left to right. Okay. Did you know that the sun rises in the east? And it sets in the west. So look at the map of the town below. Imagine that you are standing on this X, okay? So you're standing on that X. Now, which two buildings are to the east of you? The school and town hall. Very good, so circle those. So that's what this workbook has her doing, like Whoa. looking at maps, traveling in the different directions. So the direction the west is usually at the left side of a map. I know a little because you Good job, Gordo. So again, a million interruptions because he's also working, but that's fine. Um, the direction west is usually at the left side of a map. When you are going west, you are moving across Earth from right to left. The sun sets in the west. So all I'm doing is just like reading this. If you can see the sun setting, you are facing west and it's time for bed. So look at the map of Australia below. It shows where some animals are found. Imagine that you are standing at this X. Circle the animal that is to the west of you. Kangaroo. Good job. So let's circle that. I'm not going to use anymore. And then the koala is in what direction of you? East. Is on the east. Very good. Oh no, I don't see any more of those. Of the M's. No, I don't. Okay, so you got to do the next one, which is. And what letter is that? Um, N. 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 Okay, so we're just going to do two pages of geography. We could have kept going if we wanted to, but we're just... What do you want to do? You want to do more? Yes. Okay, we'll do one more page here, okay? Um, 
so the natural world. In geography, you study both the natural world and the human world. Yes, we do. Um, think about a road on a mountain. The mountain is part of the... Human world. The mountain? Uh, natural. It's part of the natural world. It was part of the world long before there was a road. The road is part of the... Human world. Right, because people built the road. Yes. So geography is about understanding both the natural and the human world and how they work together. So use the words natural and human to complete the sentences below. This sentence, you want to read a it? A river is part of the... What kind of word? What kind of world? Natural. Okay, so this is natural. This is how you spell it so you can write it there. How's it going, Jackson? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. What letter are you coloring? Uh, N. N. Well, Mom, that's for writing. Yes. Maybe I can. See. Maybe we'll find a way that, to use it. That there are cars in there. We'll no. see. No, there's no cars. I don't think there's any cars in here. This is like the Good and the Beautiful math curriculum for first for grade. You. Hey, oh. look. It's look at that. that. Hey. But we're not even using this. I don't even know why it's on the table. We're not doing math hey. for first grade yet. I just no. bought it no, in no. advance. Very cute. Wait, the both of us letters. I can know my letters. You can learn your numbers. Numbers. <laughs> okay, keep coloring your picture. See if there's any more ends. Oh, yeah. So yeah, lots of just like back and forth, lots of attending to each of them. If Jean was around, sometimes I'm like carrying him and just like circling around the table, you know, reading their answers. Or sometimes he's in the baby bouncer like next to us. A river is part of the natural world. A Bridge is part of the human world. All right, so let's write you human. Anymore? Nope. Now you have to look oh. for. Oh. oh, what color do you color? Oh, purple. Purple. Good job. Other things that I'll typically do is like if I need to eat breakfast myself, if I wasn't filming, like I'd be preparing myself breakfast, bringing it here to the table, eating alongside them. Sometimes I'll do my Bible study while I have them each occupied with something that's a little bit more um, independent. So I'll do my Bible study, then I'll yeah. check their work. Very good. So a bridge is part of the human world. Now circle the picture that shows the natural world. Which one of those two things is a picture of the natural world? and put an X on the picture of the human world. Very good. So that is the extent of geography for today. Just like a little lesson or two to keep that like at top of mind for us. And you know, she's learning some okay, stuff. Okay, math. Math? Okay. Yeah. So like I said, we were doing the good and the beautiful math, Mom, which I'll just show you, you just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is the good and the beautiful math, which I love, recommend, Riley learned super well using this. That's P. Um, but she went through this super quickly. So we've already done like adding and subtracting and all of the things here. So we got to the end of the book and I was like, well, I can either go straight to first grade or I can just review and like make sure that she understands the concept. So that's what I chose to do with Horizons. But this is a great curriculum and she did really well with it. But we're going to just pick up where we left off. We'll usually do like a page or two, like a lesson or two of this. Um, we'll start off by writing your name. Oh, I forgot. Can you show me you can go back. how I do this? Yeah, you can go back, Jackson, and fix it. See what color it has to be. Green. So we've been working a lot on handwriting and just making sure that she can spell her name. Like, obviously she can spell her name, but she's working on making her letters nice and neat. And with time, with practice, she's been getting, like, much, much better. So she wrote her name. Oh, now, this is about counting oh, to 90. It. Good job, Jackson. I can count by 10. Yeah, how about you count by 10s? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Perfect. So there's that. Then we're working on like telling time and like the time is, what time is it there? It says 6 o'clock. Okay, so we're going to write 6 o'clock and then... One hour before is 5 Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing that she could do independently and I can just check it. It's asking her one hour before is five, one after, one hour after is? Seven. Okay, so keep doing Seven. these, okay? Let me see. Good job, buddy. You did such a good job. 
So this is the kind of thing that, again, is good for him for letter recognition. It's good for his, you know, just coloring. We've built up a lot to this. There have been many days where he doesn't want to sit still long enough to even complete a page like this. The fact that he'll complete a page like this, I consider that a huge win. And he's working on his coloring skills. He's not really holding the crayon perfectly, but that's fine. Do you like your painting? Yeah. It's super good. Now, what do you want to do next while uh, we wait? I'm confusing. What's confusing? Okay. Uh, I forgot one of my picture. Okay. Oh, there was a little spot that was missing? Yeah. Good job, bud. Okay, so what do you want to do next while we wait for Riley to be done? We want to like... Do you want to like build with your little blocks? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's not that. Okay, it's okay. These are little blocks that I had bought him. Um, he has the same blocks at co-op. We go to co-op once a week if you're new here. There's like one day a week that the kids get together with other kids and we all Is learn together. Is it almost there? Almost, almost. It's okay Jackson, I'll get that. Yeah. But he saw these and we were using them as kind of like manipulatives to like count and sort and stuff and he really liked them. So we have them now and he can like build stuff with whatever. It'll keep him entertained, works on his like motor skills. How's it going over here? So the time is 3 o'clock, one hour before is 2 o'clock, one hour after is 4 o'clock, the time is 7 o'clock. This is also good because she's actually working on writing her numbers, which for a long time, like, she had to work on her writing her numbers because she would write them kind of backwards. So she's been practicing with this. Good job, Mama. So time to the hour, she's learned and pretty much mastered. So now we're going to write over here on the back, Mama. Write the number that comes after and write the number that comes before. So this is just again busy work. Like I don't she already knows this concept, so I'm not straight up teaching her. So she can kind of do this on her own. What are you trying to build, Jackson? You're gonna build it's like monster. Yeah, but you don't know how to build that monster. Jackson surprisingly is actually very good at building Legos. Like you can give him one of those Lego sets with instructions and he'll build it like from start to finish. So that's something good that he that could do too. also. I do that too. Yes, Riley also knows how to do her Legos. I so a lot of the learning that he's still doing is through like this, like playing, playing with his cars, building tracks, building cities. Like he's very creative. I give them lots and lots of time to play in this house. But since I want to keep him at the table right now, this is just something that he can do to keep him entertained. What are you going to build? I'm thinking. Of I could also, maybe you want to work on patterns with me? You want to work on patterns? Look, no pattern. just one time. Let's do one time patterns, yeah? This is something that we can do. We can do like, finish the pattern. We got blue, white, and then you can build. Blue, white, blue. What comes next? What? In this pattern. Can you put it there next to it? Blue, white, blue. White. So let's get white. Okay. He's like, forget it, I just want to build. Oh. Picture. Very cool. We could do yeah. color sorting with this. We can do counting. We can do all sorts of things. Um, yes. I don't need that one. No? White, blue, white, blue, white, blue. Okay, this one's going to be a little harder, okay? Let's see what we can do. Look, I'm going to do a pattern. Red, red, yellow. What comes next? This will be two more. Red, red, red. Yellow. Good. You gonna do it again? Red. Red. Yellow. Very good. Now, how many are red, there? Red, red, yellow. Red, red, yellow. Red, red, yellow. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Now, are there more reds or more yellows? More reds. More reds. How many yellows are there? Fourteen. One, two, three. And how many reds? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Maybe five. Okay, now you can build if you want, okay? Okay, Riley's finally done with her page. So, I checked these. You did a good job. 
and then tomorrow we'll work on another lesson and there is a teacher's guide by the way to this i just haven't had to pull it out because this isn't new material that i'm teaching her but tomorrow we'll work on more adding how many months are in the year what month is your birthday how many months are in the year uh seven twelve what are the months of the year Some... months April, May, June, and July, August, September, October, and November, December, December. Good job. Do you know what month your birthday's in? December. How many days are in a week? Seven. Do you know what day it is today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Very I, good. Uh, my daily podcast, uh, Yoto Daily told me. Your Yodo Daily told you that it's Tuesday? Yes. <laughs> she has a Yodo player, and I guess she listens to it in the morning. <laughs> with like the little daily thing. Well, I'm glad that you know that it's Tuesday because I didn't tell you it was Tuesday. And, look what and then I tomorrow again, more adding and measuring how many inches. And I'm really creative. Oh, thank you. Do you want to just show off all your stuff? I'm really creative and yes. I this all by myself. Yes, you are very creative. You're right. She has like a loads and loads of like artwork and projects as we like to do a lot of crafts. Because and I have I them love. stuffed in here, but I need to find a good place to put them. Well, I have a place to put them. They're in the garage. I have like little bins that I keep all their artwork. So anyway, we are done with math. Jackson is over here building, so he's entertained. Handwriting. Let's do our reading, our book, and then we'll do handwriting. So normally this would be like a full on um, language arts lesson, but again, we're just taking a quick break from that. And we are just gonna read okay. one of these books. I also have these little reader books that I've been showing you guys on Instagram that we've been reading. Um, these were good for her, but she's gone through all of them. So I just keep her reading some new material. Any of these little first reader books, anything that just gets her working on okay. her skills. It's, this one is called In the Sky. In the Sky. The moon shines in the dark sky. Bats zoom around in the cold. In the cool. The cool breeze. Is there anything on this page? We hear a hoot hoot. Soon the sun rises and I'm fixing it, but like shines on the roof. Uh, on the roof? On the roof and the pool and the Don't leaves on the trees. Very nice. Wait, righty, hold on. Okay, we can keep going. Sorry, Jackson was a little frustrated there for a second. The wind shakes. No. Let's sound it out. Golf. Scoots. Scoots. Stuff. <laughs> Scoot. Stop. Okay, I will help you. Okay, we've got a meltdown. He's mad. I can't finish. Okay, hold on. Take a break. Okay, we are back in action. So, the wind. Scoops. Scoots. Scoots. Stuff. Sound it out. Soft. 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 Mama, where the car Six. will be? Mm -hmm. Where the car will be in the city? A curl. A curl. A chrysalis. <laughs> A chrysalis, Riley? Come on, dude. A cross. A cross. The blue sky. This is a hard book for her because it's honestly like the first grade nature reader, which we haven't gotten there yet, and she's never read this before, but you're doing a great job. A storm races. Sound it out. I don't know how to do it. Okay. okay, so if you want real life, what just happened is she got very frustrated over the fact that she couldn't read a word, which totally understandable, like, 
you know she wants to know everything she wants to get everything right so she got really frustrated which happens not often but today it happened so i just told her to go sit on the couch let's take a little break let's take a breather let's breathe in breathe out and i told her that when she is calm again and she's ready to continue with her lesson then she can come back there are definitely times like that where she's getting frustrated with a certain topic or a certain thing um i'm sure that you guys if you are currently homeschooling you've dealt with the same thing that's kind of how we handled it today so when she's feeling better we will keep going this is a snow this is a snow yeah okay likewise he was getting frustrated building something so i redirected i said okay instead of making the box which you're struggling with let's make like a, an ocean with the blue ones let's make he decided to make snow so he made snow with the white ones what are you going to make with the red ones well if this is ocean and this is snow what is red the part of the volcano a part of a volcano that's good and what about the green a red on the grass grass very cool do you want to read this one or you want to save that one for tomorrow I want to save it for tomorrow. okay that's fine sometimes we'll do two lessons but to, i mean two two stories but we'll do one for today what are you mad about over there wrapped in like a well you trying to fold it like this yeah. okay is that better Okay, there you go. So we're going to move on to handwriting. To give you an idea, this is what the book looks like. I got this one on Amazon, and I'll try to link any of these workbooks like down yeah, below. Yeah, we do one. Yeah, we do one a day, um, but this is just like a fun way to do handwriting. Basically every day. <laughs> yes, that one, I'll show them now. But every day, there is some word that she works on. She has to practice writing it, looking at the example. Then she has to find it here in uh, like amongst like all these words. And then I'll tell her, okay, we've got the word big. Tell me what sentence you want me to write um, with that. So then she takes that word, writes a sentence and draws a picture. So yesterday's was the word, what letter is, what word is this? Bye. Bye. So she decided to write a shark swam by me. And then she drew the picture of the girl. And the that shark. Me in the cat. And your cat. Yes. In the ocean with you. <laughs> That's super silly. So we'll see what that looks like today. Today's word is? Can. Can. So let's practice writing it. Um, and using the little lines as your guide. So I feel like up until this point, her curriculum didn't really focus on like neat handwriting and like using the lines. So this is like a nice review of that to give you an idea i did buy the handwriting book from good and the beautiful but this is what it looks like if you're curious it's just very like basic the letters maybe at some point huh maybe at some point maybe every day there's a new letter yeah so maybe at some point I'll use it for her, but I thought that to get her kind of like excited about handwriting, something like this would be better because she's very like artsy, creative, and I feel like it's a little bit less boring than this. So you wrote can. Let's do it one more time, okay? C. And then remember the A is a circle and then the stick. And then... And then a little N. Mm -hmm. So now what is? Can I blank grow flowers? So what is it going to say when you write it? I can grow flowers. Very good. Look, this little dude is starting to move. Let's see if he'll go back to sleep if he keeps sleeping. We've probably been doing school at this point. Like since I turned on the camera. Um, it's got to be less than an hour that we've been doing school. So just so you have an idea of how long it takes. Like these morning lessons, this is what we consider like the official lessons. Sometimes it takes half an hour, sometimes it takes an hour, depends on what I'm doing with each of them. And then the rest of the day we'll play, we'll do like watching documentaries if we're learning about a, like a particular topic. Last month we were doing like Arctic animals, so we did a lot of um, read alouds on the TV. Like if you go to YouTube, you can search up like a lot of the books that they have in the library. We're doing read aloud. I did an Arctic animal sensory bin for the kids. With that sugar, was sugar, and then Dada was mad. <laughs> yes, I did it with sugar. And then Dada was mad when he got home and he found sugar all over the floor. Um, but you know, I try to do like fun things like that within whatever theme they're working on. So we did that. What else? 
Um, we read some books like about snow and snowflakes. We learned about the person who first photographed snowflakes, Mr. Bentley. So it kind of just depends on what I choose to focus on that month. So we'll do that throughout the day. We'll also do some Bible stuff that I'll show you. But okay, so you, you found all of those. Now, what sentence do we want to write with the word can? I can open a... Mm -hmm. Fake snake can. <laughs> what even is that? That's not even a sentence, Riley. What is that? Let's try again. But I don't know what I could use for can. Well, remember, we got to draw a picture. But I don't know what I could use. Okay, so I can. What can you do? I don't know. I don't know how to draw the damn You don't. Oh, you're trying to think of something that you can draw? Mama, you don't know how to draw yourself dancing? No, I don't. This can be the earth. I even don't know how this to can be the earth. earth. That can be the earth? Very good. What about, what else can you do? I can water the plants with the holes. Maybe I could draw that. Okay, so the sentence is going to be? I can water the plant with the holes. Okay, so obviously she does not know how to spell that. So I'm going to write it for her and... I bought myself this handwriting practice paper book so that way when I'm giving her the example I'm actually using this that so she can follow but I have to like rip a page out of here I thought it was like loose paper and it is not so I just like rip a page out of here and then I'll write the sentence for her what was the sentence again I can water the plants with the hose I water with the <laughs> Good job, Jackson. So you see, I'll write it out for her. And this honestly is such a challenge for me because I have terrible handwriting. Like my penmanship is awful, which is one of the reasons why I want her to work on her handwriting. So she has neat handwriting. But this exercise here, like this is not how I usually write. What causes me to have to like really focus on how I'm showing her how she's supposed to write the letters. So this is the kind of thing that now I can give her this and she's on her own for a little while. She has to copy it and then she has to draw her picture and color it. So now I can start working with Jackson. Jackson, what did you create? Nice. Now we're gonna clean up a bit so that we can work on your schoolwork, okay? Okay. Sounds good? Don't break the earth. You don't want me to break the earth? So you want to keep the earth. And I also make the log. The volcano. Okay, how about the ones that you made? We'll put on this side here. No, I'm not made it. And the rest we'll put away until we're done with school. And then you can keep going if you want to, okay? Okay, so for Jackson, here's what we have been doing. Um, this is like his main curriculum. This is Horizons Preschool for Threes. And this is a paper that we did in his speech therapy, which he's been going to speech therapy once a week. So we'll work on that after. But these are the lessons that we've been doing with um, the Horizons Preschool curriculum. It's for pre-K three. It's a very introduction, gentle, um, just introduction to what the things that they're learning. So maybe once a week, I'll bring this curriculum out for him to work on the stuff that's in here. I can do that box. Okay, after, I'll let you look at what's in that box. But we're gonna do some lessons, and the purpose of this is just honestly to get him used to seeing some workbook pages. I don't expect him to really do it all. I don't expect him to really be super into it either. It's just exposure. Um, let's get a little closer, buddy. But surprisingly, like with time, he started to learn some of these letters. He doesn't know all his letters yet, but this one he's gonna be happy about because he does know that letter. What letter is that, buddy? C. C, and what is this? Car. And car starts with the letter? C. So we are going to c c car right? That's how C sounds. Car. Yeah, something that I've been doing is working with him on his name. So I just ask him like what letter comes next or just getting him used to seeing his name. He can't write it yet. Jackson, what does Jackson start with? What letter? J. J. A. A. B. E. No. S. After A comes C. 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 Then what letter is this one? Do you know what letter that one is? Uh. K. 
Okay. Okay. How about this one? See. No. What does it look like? Uh, it looks like a snake. And what? S. S. Very good. And then this one? O. And this one? Uh, N. N. So that's how you spell? Jackson. Very good. So I try to do that with him often, just so he starts getting familiar with those. Do you want to color this car? Mm, yeah. Yeah? What color are you going to color him? Here, you have crayons rainbow. on the table. I want rain. rainbow. Okay, you can color it rainbow if you'd like. Rainbow. There was a time where like he did not care to color any of this stuff. Like I'd be like, do you want to color that butterfly? He's like, nope. So we just keep going. Okay, I have to that no, first we're going to work on the car. We've got to work on today's lessons, okay? okay? So you can color it or we can keep going. You tell me. Mm. Okay, go color it. Rainbow. Okay. And meanwhile, Riley's been over here copying her sentence, another way that I was working with her on um, like copying and her handwriting was with this little book, let me see if I can find it. It's over here. Um, so this is a little book of memory verses, passages from the Bible. So I would choose one a day and I would show it to her and she would write it. Problem with this is that like now I'm trying to have her focus on like lowercase, making sure that she knows like uppercase and lowercase. So I'd have to maybe take one of the verses from here and then copy it and then have her you know copy it herself but this is a great way if you're trying to incorporate scripture and try to incorporate faith into your schoolwork you can just have them copying um bible verses which is I'm super done. cute you're done i'm not sure i didn't do a rainbow it's okay gordo you did a good job good job i love it so let me check i can water the plants with the hose very good. Your letters are getting much better. I'm very proud of you. So now draw your picture. Okay. So here's what we're going to do on the next page, Jackson. Count each group of crayons and circle the group of nine crayons. Which group has nine crayons? This one? One, two, three, three, four. No. No. One, two, three, four, five. No. Six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Is that it? Yep. Yep. So let's circle that one, that group. So all this whole section here is one group. So circle all of those, because that's a group that has nine. No, all of these, this is nine over here. Sorry to do. It's okay. So here there's nine. How many are there in this group over here? One, two, no. three. In this group over here, how many? One, two, three, four, five, five, six. So is that the one that has nine? No. Nope. So we'll go to the next page. So what letter is this? C. This is big C or little C? Big. And this one? Little. So can we trace the big C's and the little C's? Yeah? Yeah. So this is good for him to trace. Good job. He's actually pretty decent at tracing. Um, I feel like at this age, Riley was not as good at tracing, but we're just working on like holding the crayon. It's okay, it's okay. Crayon, remember, we gotta pinch it. Pinch it like this, pinch it. And now. I want to do an orange. Oh, orange? Yeah. Okay, change colors. Mm -hmm. Pinch it, and now let's trace. Can you trace it? Good. Do you know anything else that starts with the letter C? Bunny. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> c c c. What about car? Car. Well, car starts with C. What about c c c c c c cat? Starts with the letter C. Oh no, I'm not pinching it. It's okay, pinch it again. Oh no. What's wrong with these hands? The little lever. Nice. What a good C you drew. Now let's do the little ones, okay? Okay, now I do 
A different color? Blue. Okay. All right. Looks like Sean is starting to move, so I'm probably going to have to go get that. him. You want to do this but one? Just first get okay. My... You have to circle the diamonds. Can we circle the diamonds? Sure. Sure. Let's grab a crayon. Which one do you want? Purple. Get purple. Purple? Very particular today about your colors. So circle the diamonds. Good. Good job. Are there any other diamonds? And now we put an X on all the triangles. Good. Good job, buddy. And then over here, circle the items that you like to eat and put an X on the food that you don't like to eat. So what do you like? What is that? Watermelon. You like that? Yeah, circle grapes, circle ice cream. Grapes, I love you. Grapes. There, that little, little one more thing. Cantaloupe. You like that? You don't like onion? You don't like hamburgers? I like hamburgers. Green beans? Oh. Do you like green beans? Yeah. Okay, so put a circle. Okay. It's okay, you can't erase it, just put a circle. Okay. Not sushi. Not milk and cereal. Oh. Milk and cereal. What about this? Mm. No? Okay. So then the other page here in this lesson is about the story of Esther from the Bible and we haven't gotten to that yet. It's okay. I'd have to like go and read the story because there's like a companion for this workbook. But we're not gonna do that because we're gonna do something else for Bible. So this just got him working in his workbook, which was good. So now we are gonna be done with that. All right, so Sean is awake. I have to go get him and it is 9.58. Jackson, I asked him if he wanted to do something else. He said later. So I'm not going to push it because I got him to sit at this table for plenty of time today. And then Riley finished her little drawing. She couldn't figure out how to draw a hose. Then I tried and this is this is as good as it got. Look how horrendous this hose is. But she drew her picture. There's a cat also because all her paintings have a cat. She's dying for a cat. So there's her little cat of her watering the plants. So this stuff is gonna be done for today. I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. So I'm gonna let the kids have some playtime now, free play. They play with their toys, they build stuff. I'm gonna take out some Legos because they're asking me for Legos. So that's what like the next part of the day is gonna look like. Most of the day, honestly, looks like more of them playing and watching stuff on TV. So as far as like formal lessons, this is the extent of it. Like the hardest part of the day is this. So I try to do this first thing in the morning when Sean is down for his first nap. If the kids are like in a mood or I'm in a mood or things have to get done in the morning, then maybe later in the afternoon we try to tackle this. But I try to reserve formal study, like book work things and worksheets for when Sean is down for one of his naps because it obviously lets me focus a little bit better. But we're done for this part and I'll show you guys again whatever happens next in the day. Okay, so I just got the baby. Sean has joined us. So we're gonna do a lot of just play time now like I had mentioned and see if we can all hang out. Hi! <laughs> he had a really good nap, so he was happy. Took out for Jackson just a couple toys that he asked Lego for. Set. Riley got her Legos. I love building them. They're my favorite thing to do. I'm so glad. And then Jackson is playing with the Love Every like block set. He's like building some cities and stuff on this road oh, mat. Why you ruined it rap? What? Why you ruined it rap? She ruined it? Um, but yes, he started like building stuff with the block set over there and this is like the mat that we've gotten for Sean. It's funny because yesterday I read to them from their little kid Bible that I'll try to see if I do some of that today. But I read the story of creation and then I made them watch a movie on YouTube about the story of creation. So we went all over the concept. Like we've gone over these concepts before, but we're kind of starting again, focusing on the story of creation. And then the next story will come, which I think is Adam and Eve and we'll do Noah and like all of the big, you know, Bible stories. 
that we go over with them but we focused on creation yesterday so he started building the city he said mama i'm doing creation i'm doing creation like jesus so they do pick things up um oh there's a little man there so they do pick up things like that. So if he's like really into that, then I'll go with it and I'll try to help him pretend, you know, the story of creation. Yesterday also Riley got creative and after watching that video, she said she was making the Garden of Eden with some magnet tiles and she was like setting up this little garden. So a lot of what they learn, then they like reinforce through playing and just being creative, drawing pictures. Hey little man. So we're just gonna hang out here, all of us, and then we'll do lunch soon. Yeah. Jackson, what's going on with that guy? He has no friends. He has no friends? He has one. Oh, he has one friend? So he's going camping or mm -hmm. what's happening there? He just wants to put this, this in there. Okay. That's where he keeps all his stuff. The tents. There's tents? Yeah, because this, oh no. What, what happened? Sean ruined, Sean ruined your creation. He knocked over your tunnel. It's okay. That's okay. You can build it again. This was what? The Garden of Eden? Yeah, but I only got this far at least. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's like a this stream like, of water. No, this is like the, the stream of water that you said like that this TV said there was even a thing that split into four. Oh, cool. And then that's how I did that. Very good. What I was going to show you is these are all of the kids' library books that we checked out the other day. So maybe at some point we'll go over some of those. Like I said, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So we checked out some Valentine's Day themed books that we can do for just some read alouds. We got a bunch of just other random books. Jackson got some truck books. Usually the bulk of their reading happens at night because they take books into their bed. And my husband, Joe, he reads, oh, this is, this one is cute. Um, my husband, Joe, will read to them every night. Um, both of them, he gets in their beds and reads something to them. So we've got... Mostly Sophie Mouse, if you haven't heard of it. Yes, they're reading Sophie Mouse right now, like a chapter book. But we've got a bunch of books that we can actually go through reading. And then we've got some other ones that aren't like stories. But Jackson, like yesterday, was like, can you read to me about the tigers? So at some point, maybe I'll show him this book. When I homeschool, I let a lot of it be like kid-led, if that makes sense. Um, like one of the things that you didn't see us cover today in like formal lessons, which maybe if I do another one of these videos, you will see me do that. Um, but... We didn't do um, like science, like an official science lesson today, just because we've got other things going on. And we spread out our lessons or the things that I wanna cover throughout the week. So most days that we do school, we're covering at the very least language arts or reading plus math. Everything else is kind of extra. Like what do we wanna fit in throughout the week? Do we have time to squeeze in like a geography lesson like you saw? Or do we have time to fit in a science lesson? Is there like a Catholic feast day? Cause we're Catholic. So if there's like a feast day, we're working on something related to that. Is there a holiday, just like a random holiday, Christmas, Easter, then maybe we're squeezing in things like that. Like I said, last month we did more science because we were focusing on snow and Arctic animals. That just kind of felt natural to incorporate that. We learned a lot about the snow snowflakes we watch a lot of documentaries about the arctic um whereas today that's probably not really gonna happen so the kids are gonna play and i will talk to you guys very soon okay so the kids have been playing for a bit riley decided she wanted to turn on tv so where are you going now i'm going to discovery discovery plus she was looking first in disney plus for some shark documentaries she wanted to watch tv so i told her just put on some kind of documentary so something of her interest Shark versus something. Uh, no, just type in shark. Okay, so we're looking for something having to do with sharks. She went yes. to Shark Week. This is Shark Week. Uh huh. Godzilla. Sharkzilla. Sharkzilla. Is that good? Yeah. So she's like obsessed with sharks. Yeah, I, I I don't like to see them in person, but I like to learn about them. Yeah. I want to be a sea, uh, a sea biologist when I grow up. A marine biologist? Yes. Yeah. So she's having a snack. It's snack time for both of them. So while she's watching TV, she might as well be learning something. So that's kind of how we do things. I'm obviously here to supervise whatever it is that they're watching. And if she picks something that I'm like, no, 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 we're not watching that, then I can make adjustments. But 
I like for her to enjoy learning about a topic and I feel like my job as a teacher and as a parent is to teach her how to enjoy learning because I feel like that skill is going to serve her the rest of her life. So sometimes I will be like, okay, right now we're watching this, put this on. Or sometimes I'll turn it on myself. But sometimes I give her a little more freedom in that sense. Like, what do you want to learn about today? Do you want to, you know, watch a video about coral reefs? Do you want to watch a video about sharks? Do you want to watch a video about earthquakes? Like whatever's going to keep your attention and you're going to enjoy watching it, then that is what I typically will let her um, watch. So we are big proponents of screen time when used in a good way, in an educational way. So for them at this point where Riley is six, he is four, I feel like this has worked really well for them. All right, since I have the camera out, I wanted to show you guys something that I'm prepping for tomorrow or for a future day. I don't really plan on doing this today, but I found this really cute um, activity and I'll see if I can link it in the description box but since again the theme for this month is Valentine's Day I found a cute little um, like ABC like printable so that I can work with Jackson on his letters so the concept being there's all these letters I just finished laminating them like I took out my laminating machine and I just finished laminating them so that they'll like last a little longer now I just need to cut them out but the idea is I'll put these like in a bowl or something or maybe I'll hide them like in a sensory bin like cover them with rice like you have to like make things exciting for them and then he'll pull out one of the letters and then he has this sheet he has to find like let's say he pulls out the letter B then he finds the letter B on this page and he can color it something like that to keep him entertained and it's like interactive so there's like a worksheet that's uppercase letters and then he can also do the lowercase letters so he can find like the capital G and then try to find the lowercase G um, on the sheet so stuff like that I'm always looking for um, this I found on Pinterest I like got three in the morning <laughs> between feeding Sean so I like to just switch things up like I don't like to clearly you've probably seen already through this video like I don't like to stick to just one specific thing all the time some people need that right like some people need to just work out of one book one curriculum the same curriculum for all the subjects you don't like vary off course of that and I totally get that. I totally respect that if that's your style of teaching. I cannot do that. I get bored very quickly. So that's why I have like my main books that I use and then I incorporate just random different things. And if I get to this, then fantastic. If I don't, then it's no big deal because it's just like an extra way um, for him to practice his letters. Then once these are all cut out, I can also use these with Riley in the sense that I can have her spell stuff. So I can say like, how do we spell cat? And then she has to find all the letters, put it together in a row and spell cat or rest or um, lost, like things that obviously only need one of each letter. So we can work on spelling with Riley and we'll do the letters with Jackson. And that'll be something that I use a couple times over the next month. All right, it is a little later. I'm about to take Sean up for a nap because he is super cranky and it's time for his nap. Um, the kids though, I'm gonna leave them with something to kind of entertain them while I'm putting him down for his nap. It worked out because Riley was kind of like, oh, I wanna do a craft, I wanna do something. So what we're gonna do is like a little arts and crafts that they can work on while I'm upstairs putting him down for his nap. So I'm gonna start them off and I am going to make them a butterfly and it is gonna be just the most random thing hold on i have to draw the wings and then you're going to put the tissue paper and glue it to the butterfly okay so i'm gonna do the best that i can here with the child on my lap uh-huh to draw a butterfly outline yep like so I don't even think you can see it. And then they have to put the tissue paper on the butterfly. Maybe you'll be able to see it better on Riley's. This is all just like randomly thought out things that we can do. We did a heart the other day, so that's why I was like, well, let's do something a little different. Let's do a butterfly. So we've got like the outline of the butterfly. Yeah, so I had bought on Amazon a whole pack of these little like tissues little tissue squares so now they can take the tissue squares and i taught them how to like just put a little bit of glue and you can do it on the wings jackson or you're going to do it all down the body you can do it all down the body too if you want but you just put a dab of glue and then you can pick whatever like tissue square you want and riley will love this because she gets to be nice and creative and you know they get to use glue and practice her gluing skills so when i'm done putting sean down i'll see how you do okay okay awesome okay i'm back from putting sean 
down for his nap. Mm -hmm. Riley says that she's done with hers. What, you decided that you're gonna color yes. some of it? I okay. like mine. Um, Jackson, you didn't finish yours, buddy. You have the other side. I'll finish it later. You'll finish it later? So yeah, sometimes we'll start a craft, and especially if I'm not like here watching him, he's like, okay, that's it, I'm done. But you know what, he practiced gluing. So that's fine. And then she just decided to do kind of like her own thing, which I also very much let her do. It looks really pretty though. Oh look, you made it very symmetrical. Like the same colors on this side and this side. Yeah. It looks really beautiful. All right, it is a lot later. It is like three o'clock, 2.57. We went outside. I don't know when, like the last time I showed you guys that we were doing stuff was, but we had lunch, we went outside. Okay, I'll get in now. We also went upstairs and we did some chores. So I had to mop the floors upstairs so the kids kind of helped me with that, helped me keep Sean entertained. He's over here. They also were like watching me mop. So like, even though it's not technically lessons, like I do still like to think of like doing household chores alongside me as kind of like they're learning something. So now, you look so studious. Hi little buddy. So now Riley was over here and she was watching Veggie Tales while um, Jackson and I were upstairs. But we are gonna start this like next little like time frame with reading from that kids Bible that I told you guys about. I really like this one. Um, I've had it for years, like years since Riley started listening to Bible stories. Can I open this? Are you gonna let me? I really like just the illustrations of this one. So this one was the one we read yesterday all about creation um, and they're like short and sweet so they're like a couple pages long the illustrations are super cute and fun and then today we're gonna read about Adam and Eve so Riley Jackson on the mat please so we're gonna read about Adam and Eve as a family over here kind of do like a little circle time on this mat so yesterday we learned about creation who made everything God. Jesus God and Jesus. Jesus so what are some of the things that God made people people and then what did he do on the seventh day, Riley? He made people. No, on the seventh day. He rested. He rested. And then and he made rock, rocks. He made rocks. He made all of the land. Mm -hmm. He made grass. He made grass. He made plants. Plants. Flowers. Mm-hmm. Babies. I mean, he made people. So, yes. God had made a wonderful garden for Adam and Eve. And in it, they were wonderfully happy. And everything would stay this way as long as Adam and Eve followed the one rule that God had given them. What was the one rule? Uh, Don't eat the fruit. Don't eat the fruit? Don't eat from the tree of? Good, Good and bad. The tree of? I don't remember. The tree of knowledge. Oh, so you mustn't eat the fruit from this tree, God told them. It will hurt them. So then who came and told them something different, Jackson? The snake. Is the snake good or bad? It's good, bad. bad. Really bad. Really bad? Yeah. yeah. And who is the snake? The devil. The devil? Oh no, said Eve. There is only one tree that we mustn't eat from. God says that the fruit will hurt us. But the snake told Eve a terrible lie. Oh, it's not going to hurt you, he said. In fact, it will make you just like God. Then Eve wondered, did God really love her? Should she trust him? Should we no, trust God? No, no. Yes, yes, we should. We should trust God? Yeah. Always, right? Mm -hmm. This wasn't what the world was made for, and it wasn't what his children were made for. But God already had a plan, a plan to bring his children back to him. So there we go. That's just like reading one little section. Tomorrow we'll start Noah. When we get to Noah, there's a really cute Veggie Tale movie all about Noah's Ark that maybe I could put on for them that afternoon. Um, they've seen it a bunch of times. They watched a video yesterday that was like about Adam and Eve too. So this is all like familiar to them, but it's a nice little reminder and something to like pass the time at this part of the day when the kids are going crazy like that so anyway i'm gonna end the video here you guys because this part of the day like after three o'clock after we've kind of done all the things that we've done chances are the rest of the afternoon will be the kids like watching something else on tv right or like 
coloring and something that they find in the craft table because now is when I start to like cook dinner and I just kind of have them you know doing stuff to occupy them so that I can cook dinner but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video like a little glimpse into what homeschool like what a homeschool day looks like for us again every day is different so if I film another one of these it will not look really at all like it did today but let me know what you guys think if you like this format if you like if you want to see a couple more of these every once in a while I'll be happy to pull out the camera and just show you guys what we're up to but I love you guys and thanks so much for watching make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys